An important question we're often asked about bioidentical hormone replacement therapy, or BHRT, is what are the side effects? And it's important to know that when we optimize someone's hormones, we absolutely keep them within the normal range. We don't go above the normal range like bodybuilders or, or other people who might tend to abuse. Our goal is to improve a person's health and well-being, enjoyment of life, and one's lifespan not to do anything other than that. When used in higher than usual dosages, and very, very rarely for some people, even within the normal range, some of the old thoughts were that bioidentical hormone replacement therapy might cause cancer of the prostate for men. That's very old data. Now, virtually everyone accepts the fact that it does not cause it, and it is possible, but even that is not necessarily likely that if a man has pre-existent prostate cancer, that bioidentical hormone replacement therapy can accelerate it. That's why we do some relatively specific testing before placing a person, a man, on uh, hormone therapy. For women, uh, there is a question, does estrogen and progesterone cause increased cancers in women? And the answer to that is old data using incorrect materials indicated that it might be the case. The materials that were used were not bioidentical hormones. They were synthetic hormones, which have to be sufficiently different than the normal hormone uh, in order to be marketed and patented. It is now being shown that with the bioidentical hormones, particularly estrogen and progesterone, that the negative effects seen with these synthetic hormones does not occur. So the risks of cancer that were once thought to be uh, attended with for men and for women is really quite negligible and we take some significant steps to uh, make sure it doesn't happen. Women has to ha have to have their pap smears each year and they have to have mammograms every two to three years depending on their risk factors.